So we've just arrived, Labrook Grove, heading to Portobello Road Market. Portobello Road Market, oh my god, it's so cool. Particularly this stand, it's making me look more to Nottingham. Just at Portobello Road Market, and I managed to find something good and some banana socks, moss, somalis with other bananas. <laughs> How pretty is this? I don't know, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it's really pretty. Amazing, if only I could convey how good it smells. Oh, it smells unreal. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think there's enough chips. <laughs> Let me know if you like it. One for you as well. Thank you. All right, Mama. Try them a free sample, please. Chicken tikka, very nice. <laughs> So I'm just about to learn to make Somali uh, Angero with my Edo, which um, she's going to teach me how to make her Angero. So yeah, so I've been eating a lot of Somali food this weekend. I um, yesterday went round to my cousin's house and they made an incredible Somali meal. It was more like a feast, to be honest. There was just loads of different things. And of course, there was baris and hilib. It wouldn't be a Somali meal if there wasn't baris and hilib. In fact, no, I don't even think it, it wasn't hilib. It was digag that's chicken so it's like somali rice chicken and things yeah it was amazing so as you can see my edo somali auntie edo my aunt she's teaching me to make her somali angero she's like a somali pancake and you can see this is how um the pancake gets the nice like pattern on it that somali pancakes usually have so the angero that my Somali Angero that my Edo is making, they're nearly ready. And what's interesting is you don't, you only cook them on one side, but yeah, they look, you don't actually turn them over, but yeah, they look amazing. I can't wait to try them. How good do these Somali Angero look? And they were so tasty. Hi, it's Sophia here, back again. So basically I've just left my Edo's house and I'm excited because I just found out how to make uh, Angera Somali pancakes. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased about that. So big thanks to my auntie Zahur for showing me that. So we're just about to go to uh, Abbey Road um, to check out the famous Zebra, Zebra Crossing. Yeah, there's actually loads of tourists here. I feel sorry for the people that are driving around here that literally have to stop like every two seconds because everyone's wanting to walk over the, um, over the famous Zebra Crossing. So it's interesting, I've just found out this is where David Bowie and Mick Jagger recorded Dancing in the Street, so that's so cool. So it's interesting being here at Abbey Road and seeing all the Beatles stuff because it's just reminded me actually my auntie, shout out my auntie, she was an artist and she, she had illustrations with her, like the songbooks and stuff, so yeah, it's cool. I think I'm going to attempt to try and write a little message. <laughs> Looks alright, it's Sophia here. <laughs> 